Hello fellow unicorns, welcome to another video and today I will be reviewing my very own first touchscreen drawing tablet and that is XP Pen Artist 16 which I got with all of the necessary pens, nibs, cables and screen protector. First things first, before you buy, make sure your PC or laptop has an HDMI port or if you're using Macintosh, make sure you have a mini display port because this is very important, otherwise your tablet will not be working for you. This tablet also features different angles by which you can put it on a table or hold it in your lap. I prefer to have it in my lap while painting because because that's the most comfortable pose for drawing for me personally. The only part of this tablet that I didn't really like was the installation of the software part because it made me delete all of my other tablets software. Um, also I had to disable my firewall which is a very tricky thing if you're afraid of getting hacked or getting attacked by viruses but in the end everything ended up going smoothly when I followed the instructions step by step maybe it's best for you to download all of the software and then disable the firewall when you're offline. One thing that makes this tablet better than many other models out there today is the option of being available for left-handed people. As a left-handed person I did have to tinker around on the dual monitor settings a bit and flip my screen and then flip my tablet. This is why the tablet looks like it was uh, turned upside down uh, because the buttons on the left side would be completely inappropriate for a left-handed person who already uses the left side and presses the buttons inadvertently while trying to draw. So all of my buttons are now on the right side of my tablet and after a couple of hours of using this tablet I realized that it's very comfortable to use. I can use it while being lounged and drawing on my bed and place it on my knees and then I can use the quick buttons on my pen and on my tablet which are completely customizable to use for uh, zooming out, zooming in, color picker tool on my pencil and uh, of course a hand tool to move around my art piece wherever and however I like. I really start to enjoy using this and I really like how my entire piece worked out even though this is actually my very first piece on a touchscreen pad of this type so I really hope you guys enjoyed the art piece I have created and I have called it the Dragon Queen.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you would like to learn how to draw manga, please check out my book Manga Crash Course available in 4 different languages as well as my latest book Manga Crash Course Fantasy.